All right, so I guess this is a trailer day. So while I was in the middle of watching Watchmen episode eight, hopefully a review, hopefully my review for that will come out sometime today. So be on the lookout for that. We'll see. And tra a trailer dropped this morning and it was for Ghostbusters Afterlife. So here's another reaction video. Two reactions in one day. Who would have thought? All right, so here we go. What are you doing here in Somerville anyway? Honestly, my mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. Somerville, is this Somerville, New Jersey? The only thing that's left in our name. It's this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere. Why'd you bring me up here? Entertainment value? <laughs> I don't even know if Flynn Wolfhard was in this movie. <laughs> Somehow, a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music oh, even, Paul Rudd. is shaking on a daily basis. I'm on the dining table now! Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. Your dad never mentioned this to you? It's just my mom. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Okay, yeah, that was not anything of what I was expecting. And that's not a bad thing. Like, first of all, I didn't even know this movie was going to be a thing. I heard they were talking about doing another Ghostbusters movie, but I thought it was going to be a direct sequel to the original movies with Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, etc. But this seems to be completely different in the sense that while it does seem to be a direct sequel of the first two movies, it still seems like the original actors, it does, it seems like the original actors won't be involved in this, which is what I was expecting. Also, because Finn Wolfhard is in this movie, I find it kind of ironic because of this moment that happened in Stranger Things. And funny enough, I almost kind of feel like this movie is Ghostbusters meets Stranger Things meets Ghostbusters again. And it seems way darker than the original movies. And I really like what I saw in the trailer so far. Like, it's a movie, it's a movie dealing with ghosts. It's a movie about ghost busting. It's a movie about ghost hunting or ghost busting, huh? You would think dealing with ghosts would be a little bit more scary. Think a little bit with Ghostbusters 2 with that main ghost villain whose name I can't really remember right now. The ghost that was trapped in the painting, that was a little bit more darker than the first Ghostbusters and so I feel like this Ghostbusters Afterlife is leaning more into that and is it called Afterlife? Obviously because they're dealing with ghosts but are the other original Ghostbusters dead? Because based on the trailer for this movie it seems like the little girl and Finn Wolfhard's character they are the grandchildren of Egon Spengler and it almost kind of seems like the little girl is more of the lead and focus in this movie compared to Finn Wolfhard. She, she's the one that finds the jacket with Spengler's name. She's the one that apparently wields the proton 
Photon Pack in this trailer. So, like I said, this trailer is definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be way more wacky and comical, and this was not it at all, but it got me way more intrigued. Like, honestly, when I first heard about a new Ghostbusters trailer first dropping, I was just like, uh, I don't really care. I'll check it out when I check it out. But after this, I'm like, I am actually curious to see this movie now. So, good job on the trailer. You sold me on the movie so far. Granted, the movie can end up being terrible, but I'm now interested. So, yeah, guys, have you seen the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer? What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you can't hit that thumbs up button and like this video to really help out the channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more and hit that bell notification button so you're alerted every single time I post a new video. Now, the second video I posted today, you would think it's a different day because it's a different shirt, but hey, and a third video might come out and I'll be wearing a different shirt, so who knows? But anyway, and tell your friends, families, and neighbors about my channel to help me continue to grow. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. And I ain't afraid of no ghost. I said, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Oh my God, that was your cue. Get me out of here.